Ahoy there, Legion! Update 18.5 should be live right about now, or in the very near future. If not, that dev stream they got planned for today should get mighty awkward, as they were going to talk all about it. Of course, I'll have a recap and review of that dev stream for you on Monday, so you can focus on enjoying 18.5 at full capacity. But what's going to be in it? You probably already know most of it from our previous episodes, but here's a very quick recap. There's going to be new mission types for the Moon Tile set, including a new take on spy missions involving pre- and post- Void collapse time travel y stuff. They're tweaking settings to make the game not only more shiny but less demanding. Minimum requirements will not change, but I think it's safe to say I'll have fraps at the ready for any upcoming glitches. The file size of this update is going to be particularly large for PC 10 0, weighing in at over 4 gigs. But Console Squad's probably going to laugh at that, considering how many times they had to re download the entire game for their updates at this point. Sabotage 2.0 is going to allow us some control of the outcome of the mission, but potentially. Essentially, it's what you get when you merge a spy mission with a mobile defense. New mechanics seem interesting, but it also is going to increase how long they take to complete. I heard they're going to have resource caches now, so hopefully something spicy awaits us when we find all three. Feral and Grenier Cavats will be in, along with the Grenier Cavat Handler. Chat UI is getting reworked with the emoji treatment, and of course the new Mummy Warframe Inaros. Speaking of that mummy, PC Gamer had some new information DE was holding out on us. For example, the name of his abilities. Desiccation is a life-stealing sand attack. Devour life steals and locks enemies in quicksand. This can summon friendly minions called sand shadows, I'm assuming when the affected enemies die. Sandstorms, they honestly call them. Sandstorm spins you around like a top with some damaging AoE to nearby enemies, and it apparently synergizes with Devour. His ultimate seems like iron skin with the shrapnel augment. He'll spend your health creating scarab armor, then release it as a scarab swarm. Which, you guessed it, has life-stealing effects. This one can heal allies as well, though, so there's that. The three new weapons coming out this patch are all toxin or viral themed, which seems a bit odd considering we just got Saren Prime who's known for that, while well, this guy's Egyptian. I mean, yeah, there's the mummy's curse and then the plagues, but I don't see any frog weapons is all I'm saying. Now that I think about it, how is this guy not actually a vampire? Other than the sand, everything he does involves sucking the life out of someone to sustain his own. Heck, he can even turn those affected into minions. Reskin those scarabs into bats, and there you go. There's some more stuff DE posted on the forums, like Conclave will allow every Warframe to date in now, and that PvP Cyandana has been added, and you can even duel people mid-match, which seems more of a pain than anything, as no one else is going to be able to damage those two people during that time, making it awful distracting to the rest. But maybe if you're into PvP, that sounds like a good change for you. How about you? What are your thoughts, Legion? Any of these additions really snagging your attention? Are you downloading the update now and can't wait to dive into one of these changes? Let us know in the comments below. Feel free to pass the time replying to folks if your download speeds are, shall we say, less than impressive. Again, I'll have that DevStream 70 recap for you on Monday, so enjoy 18.5, enjoy your weekend, and as always, thank you for watching, Legion. Take care.